ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the channel, Oxide Magic. Jordan here, and as you can see, we're doing a bundle opening. I need to say fat back then. I mean, you can still, still not getting used to that. So, Aoife Revolt out, new bundle. So, let's get cracking and see what packs we get. Will we get a masterpiece? Ooh, who knows? But uh, yeah, I think my masterpiece look is gone because of. Uh, I think, you know, well, to be fair, yeah, I've had a good streak lately. So, let's see. So, as you see in the pack, you get this weird card storage box solution that doesn't even store cards. It's really weird. I mean, I use this as, um, I store my excess booster packs. I use for Chaos Draft and a Cracker Pack openings and all that sort of thing. So, it is quite useful, but sort of not really good storage system for your cards. The only thing. Let's see the artwork. It should be... What's on the front of the box? Can I open it without breaking it? Yes! Uh, oh, yes. So, fancy dancy poster. Always nice. They tend to be quite nice. They've, they've been really good with the artwork. I love the artwork in this set, actually. It's really good. And here we go. We have the Aoife Revolt Player's Guide. So, let's see what the top 10 is. They always have a top 10 list. Let's see what the top 10 is. What's that? Ah, here we go. So, Tezzeret the Scheme is number one, Ajani, number two, Sram, number three, Mechanized Production is number four, Fatal Push is number five, Indominable Creativity, Rich Cards Expertise, Ephosphere Harvester, Servo, Servo Schematic. Really? Why the hell is Servo Schematic in this list? Okay, weird. And then Maverick Thopterist. Mm, yeah, okay, I can write the top three I'll let off, but what the hell is Schematic doing in this? The other bits, yeah, they're not bad. Yeah, alright. Yeah, it goes into a bit of fluff, cards. See, it's weird because they never show the masterpieces, but they show all the Planeswalker decks as well, which is unusual. Oh, they never show the masterpieces. Right, so, let's get to see what we get. So, as again, we've got this unusual style box again, so it's slightly cut. It's meant to be so apparently it comes off easier, apparently. But one thing I do like is that you get this insert box. I actually use it now, I've got one of them in one of my other boxes I use for pre-releases. So it's rather sweet. We have a green, green one. So that's rather sweet. I need a, I think I need a red one. I want a red one. Alright, so then... Oh, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten packs. We have land pack, which I will be giving to my local game stop. It's always good to keep them stocked up on the, for the keep their um, land station stocked up for drafts and whatnot. So, and then you have a little quick reference guide, which is useless. So, what shall we do? We will start cracking some packs, I think. But, I like to open them in random orders, so let's see what we get. So we've only got, wow! So the difference in packs, we've got what? Four Ajani, four Tezzeret, and two of the Molfister. So let's do it this way. And then, one, two, three. And then, one, two, three. Right. So, let's zoom in and get cracking packs. So, so, so far I've been really enjoying this set, I love the artwork on it, it's absolutely stunning. And the uh, best thing as well is that some of the packs, that pack openings I've seen, you just get so many interesting things. Right, so starting off with the uncommons, we have Gremlin Infestation, Sly Requisition, Pacification rare, great and sealed. And Solemn Recruit is the first rare, which is for one and two white. It's a dwarf warrior, it's two two, it has double strike, and if you trigger revolt at the end before the end step, you gotta put a one one counter on it. Uh, left unchecked, this thing gets insane quite nicely. It's really good. Uh, unfortunately I never got to go off with it in my one, one of my sealed sealed pools. Right. So next deck. I mean to be fair, that Solemn Recruit does fit in quite nicely with sort of the uh, red-white aggro sort of situation with the dwarfs and Depala and all that sort of thing. Because Depala makes it a 3-3 automatically, just without the counter. Okay, we have Gremlin Infestation again. Sp 
Fire Patrol, Reckless Racer, and Midnight Entourage is the rare, which is for two and two black. It's an Aetherborn Rogue. Other Aetherborn you control get plus one plus one, so it's a Lord. And whenever you, uh, whenever it or another Aetherborn dies, you get to draw a card and you get to lose a life. So. Um, it's good because it pumps up all your Aetherborn, but it's bad because, of course, if they will board wipe you, you lose a lot of life. So you have to have some sort of synergy and life gain in this deck, and then the Servo on an island. So, it's okay, but it does have that little drawback. But you do get card draw off it, which isn't actually too bad. Um, definitely you can see a tribal deck maybe going around of that. Um, and it is a 3-3, if you get two of them out, you know, suddenly they're both 4-4, four four, which is absolutely because they pump each other. But it's always good for, um, it's definitely a, definitely a decent lord. Shame it's not a 3-drop though, rather than like most other lords always have been in, in the past. Right, Skyship Plunderer, Air, Aeronaut Admiral, Renegade Wheelsmith, and Herald of Anguish. So our first mythic is the Herald of Anguish, which is 5-2 black, it's a demon that's 5-5. Five five. It has improvised, so the artifacts can pit, reduce its cost. It has flying at the beginning of each end step, and the, each opponent discards a card. And then you can pay a one and a black and sacrifice an artifact, and target creature gets minus two, minus two until the end of turn. So not buying some sort of a uh, token strategy, but definitely you need a lot of. Uh, you definitely don't want to be paying seven mana for this. You want to be paying ideally four, five, maybe even six at max. Yeah. So that's three packs in, seven to go. Let's see what's the next one. To be fair, a lot of people are wanting, to, wanting him for like commander decks and stuff like that because in commander he's a bit insane making all your opponents discard at the end step. Right. Trophy Mage. A very good card. The tutor, the tutor for an exact artifact of three. Deft Dismissal. Reverse Engineer and... Off of a journey is the rare. So it's a legendary enchantment. It's one and a green, and when it enters the battlefield, you put one more counter on each creature you control. And planeswalkers cost one less to cast. Um, well, we discussed this on Ugin's Insight, and I, I, my feelings for this—I mean, one, this is a great late game card if, you, especially, if you've got creatures on the board because it pumps them. Um, it also it makes planeswalkers cheaper, which isn't a bad thing. So yeah, definitely, definitely interesting. And Swamp and a Servo. So let's see, pack number five. So let's see, pack number five. What will we get? Come on, halfway point. We're going to start getting something good. So, Gifted Aetherborn is the first one. Uh, vampire, Aetherborn Vampire Nighthawk. Nam Renegade. Felidar Guardian, sweet. The uh, part of the new Blink combo. And Exquisite Arch Archangel, so that's our oh, the second Mythic of the booster. So this is 5 and 2 white, it's an angel, it's a 5-5. Five five. It has flying, and if you would lose the game, instead you exile this, exile the angel, and your life total becomes equal to your starting life total. Definitely uh, interesting. Uh, can I see him make a standard player? No. Commander? Yes, quite easily. Um, definitely going to be uh, interesting. But of course, it doesn't get around in infect damage. That's one thing to remind. Oh, and our foil is Implement of Combustion. And a swamp, and that. So, got a foil, but yeah. Pretty certain, yeah, foil. Ah, shock. One of my favourite new cards of the set. I do love this card. So let's see. Right. Daredevil Dragster. Gonti's Machinations. Tezzeret's Touch. And our rare is. Free Jam Regent. It's 4 and 2 red. It's a dragon. It's 4 4. It has improvised so you can make it cheaper to cast. Uh, it has flying and then it has. I, what I call super fire breath, which is um, you pay one red and you get plus two plus oh until the end of the turn, rather than the uh, pay one red and you just get plus one plus oh. So yeah, have a sweet. And an Ethereum cell, yes, yeah, so these are the new Tezzeret, Tezzeret token artifact. Right. Oh, four packs left. So, first of the Mole Fists. Right, well, the other, t the other, uh, the other ones would have been a bit more likely to hold where all the actions are. 
All right, winding constrictor. Very good in a 1-1 count. And a, oh, we have got a foil. Is a winding constrictor. We have aerial modification. Consulate Dreadnought. Peace Walker Colossus. Oh no, we don't have a foil. I'm mistaken again. Uh, it's a three mana vehicle. It's a 6-6 six, six when it becomes uh, crewed with four. And you can pay one or white, and another target vehicle you control becomes an artifact creature and turn to it. So this basically can turn on all your vehicles. So a vehicle deck synergy strategy, possibly, but you know, very interesting. Three bags left, what are we gonna get? Right. Right. Renegade Rallyer. It's the first one common. Barricade Breaker. Fatal Push, yes, that's what we like to see. Shame it's not a foil, but well, that was nice. It's a fatal Push. Gonti's Ether Heart, God, we've had another Mythic. That's what, three now? So six mana legendary artifact when it, when, um, whenever it or another artifact is about under your control, you get two energy, and then you may pay eight energy. Is it? Two, four, six, yeah, eight. And then you exile the heart, and you take an extra turn after this one. So it's, uh, yeah, you know, time walk and Ragavan the monkey. Like him. Two packs left. Come on, Tezris. Come on, give me four Mythic. That's what I want. Right. Life Crafter's Gift. Rich Scale, Tusker. Renegade Wheelsmith. And our rare is. Carries the expertise. It's for one and two red. This is the expertise cycle. The sorcery speed. You gain control of the target creature or vehicle until the end of the turn. Untap it against haste to the end of the turn. You may cast a card with converted mana cost two or less from your hand without paying its mana cost. An amount on the servo. Uh, yeah, I do like. I, uh, carries isn't as good as the, some of the other ones. I mean, in an aggro based strategy, it's not too bad. Sort of thing. I mean, you, this would be sort of you would use that as a bit of a finisher to get swinging for a lot of damage or remove a blocker out of the way, sort of thing. So, you know, but it's not too bad. Okay, Ornithopter. Yes, the zero mana, zero two artifact. Siege modification would be very good on an Ornithopter. Windkin Raiders and our rare is Dark Intimina Intim Intimination. Oh, I can't say it. Dark Intimidations. For two, a blue, a black, and a red. Each opponent sacrifices a creature or a planeswalker, then discards a card. You return a creature or a planeswalker card from the graveyard out of your hand, and then you draw a card. And when you cast a bolus planeswalker spell, exile Dark Intimidations from your graveyard, that planeswalker enters the battlefield with an additional loyalty counter on. Um, obviously, there is no Nicol Bolas Planeswalker in this set, which would indicate to me that the, the, the um, Amonkhet first set will have Nicol Bolas in. Um, we were discussing this. It, it, it's good. Uh, we reckon that you could, you would have to have a few of these in the bin, and enough of if you had enough of this and enough of Gideon on the table, you could alternate the old one, whether the new one uh, will be near its ultimate with this in the bin, it'll be interesting. But yeah, definitely something worth thinking. So, our little haul. We, uh, it wasn't too bad. You know, we got a couple of mythics. We, well, we got three, three mythics, yeah. Three mythics, not bad. It's not too bad. But yeah, it was, de it was decent enough set. About to say, so far I'm loving it. Um, can't wait to show off my um, lovely um, new standard deck that I've built. And uh, yeah guys, thank you for tuning in. Remember to uh, like the video if you enjoyed this, uh, subscribe to the channel, and uh, yeah, once we're, near, we're nearly close to 100 subs, and 100 subs to do the next giveaway. So uh, stay tuned guys, and catch you later.